Hello and welcome back to Matt Cooper Bites. We're here with another review. Sorry it's been a while. As I always say, I've been really busy, but this time I've been even busier. Um, so it's been, like I say, it's been a while since I've even had a mixie, not even been to any restaurants and had one and not reviewed it. But today we're in Hilltop in West Bromwich with the new hen and chickens. They've kindly invited me down. Um, it's been a long time coming this one. We've been back and forth for quite a while. And we finally found a spot where we could both do it. So I am looking forward to this. It's a Thursday night. I'm so thirsty and I'm craving a mixie, so let's get straight into it. Just at the Hen and Chickens now. Um, staff are incredibly friendly. Danny, um, who, who works here, seems a really good guy. Proper, look, proper looking after us. He's even gone and brought us a magic to our table, so. Uh, some brownie points there. We've gone with a hen and chicken special grill, which is winged tikka, achari tikka, shish kebab, masala lamb chops, fish pakora and prawns. That's £23. We've also gone with a garlic and cheese naan, uh, and most importantly, the masala fries, which are £3.20. Not sure how much the naan is, um, but, but honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. The food looks incredible, so let's see how it goes down. Right then, let's get straight into it. The Achara chicken, can usually take or leave this, but it was excellent. Moving on to the chicken tikka, again, lovely bit of thigh meat, so flavoursome. Obviously been marinated for quite some time, cooked to perfection. Fish bakura, extremely crunchy on the outside, packed full of white fluffy fish on the inside. These prawns, my word, I don't even like prawns, but these were outrageous. Just look at the colour on them. Chicken wings, drum and flat, full of meat, fantastic char on the outside, and full of flavour. Moving on to the shish kebab, lovely piece of lamb, spiced well and also really fragrant and not too chewy. And then this lamb chop was the best lamb chop I've ever had on a mixed grill. It was full of meat and it melted in your mouth. These masala chips too, these are the best I've had. Have a little close up of them there. They were absolutely outstanding. I'd, I'd imagine the chili chips are the same, but these were the bollocks. And then the cheesy garlic naan, quite stodgy, but was still very good. Hen and Chickens restaurant, I'm excited, mate. I'm excited to, to score this. This was absolutely sensational, wasn't it? It was absolutely excellent. It was faultless. Um, but of course, I am joined by James, who, is this your fourth time, though? No? Fourth, yeah. Well, as we were eating the grill, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that about that. I feel like you yeah, you could be part of it. It could be Matt and James. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Do you it, think? it sounds good, it's got a it ring does, to it. It does, it has got a ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled off the tongue. Yeah. James, talk me through it, mate. What were the highlights? What were the lowlights? Oh, shish kebab was amazing. It had like everything in it. Um, really, really impressed. The chicken wings were nice and meaty. Fish pakora I was raving about. There wasn't many lowlights whatsoever. Um, the only thing I think I said negatively was that the onions could have been a bit crispy, crispy on the bottom. <laughs> Apart from that, like, that's me and that's me being picky. Yeah. It was banging, honestly. Speak about the wings there, though. Like normally with uh with like desi mixed grills you get like either the drum or the flat of the wing don't you but yeah, yeah. there you, you get a bit of both and i think that really added to the flavor and it's like i think you said a really meaty wing extra big chickens i reckon that's what it was extra big chickens <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, big fuck yeah, off chickens was, i think that's what it was exactly that, exactly. james if i was going to press you for a score what would it be Oh, it was uh, ten. It, I, I, it was for me. It was a solid nine. Wow, it yeah. was a big score. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was thinking about four marks, but just just underneath it. So yeah, solid nine for me. I'd like to leave out the four marks out. I mean, you may want to give it a ten if not, but for me, I'm gonna. If if it was to be a nine point five for me from the mixy, then I would come back and do all the nine point fives and then decide which one gets the ten. But I'll play off, I like it. We enjoy it though, yeah. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Good return to the uh, to the channel. Yeah, it has been, and yeah, return to here. I've been here like a few times years ago, and I haven't been for a while, and it lives up to the hype, so can't complain. Yeah, excellent. Staff are so friendly as well, aren't they? Lovely, They're really, really nice. But I think it's time to go and watch the rest of the World Cup. Do you not think? I think so. Let's do it. But how will it score? Find out next. Honestly, there's some huge scores coming up here, so brace yourselves. Value for money, I thought £23 for a large grill is quite expensive. I've had I've had more meat for less, but there was still a lot there. And to be honest, there, 
there wasn't a lot of chicken wings, which you know that some mixy pubs do pack them out uh, to try and save a bit of cash. But masala chips, these were these were the best I've had, I think. Got to be MSG on them. That magic pixie dust, it has to be, because they tasted so good, so fresh, seasoned excellently. They also had a bit of like onions and peppers in there as well, which... If you're a fan of salt and pepper chips like me, it was a, it was a nice touch. It added a bit of freshness. The mixy, oh my word, honest to God, it was it was faultless. I can't give it a ten because I'm saving that for when I do the, the finals. But honest, honestly, go back and watch the review and tell me it didn't look the bollocks. Service ten out of ten. Can't fault it. It's some really friendly staff there. Danny properly looked after us, and James gave it a nine. So that's a total score of forty five point five, which is a new leader on the leaderboard now if you look at the leaderboard now the Soho Tavern's been knocked off its perch it's been there for us quite some time now and um I'm, I'm just glad that we've we've spiced it up a little bit because the hen and chickens it's a it was a dark horse I've been meaning to come for quite a while and I really wasn't disappointed guys I highly recommend this place